Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lap Classic Remastered. This time we'll take a look at the 1999 Mitsubishi Legnum VR4 Type S. That stager we had out last time got me thinking, what will the Mitsubishi equivalent be like? We have had a Gallant go round, which was actually quite quick, I think that's like a 30.6. Uh, we have also had another Legnum go round, but that was the ST with like 180 horsepower, so we don't consider that canon. We consider this one canon though, four wheel drive, 411 horsepower. 1,397 kilos. It is very much down on power to the stage here, but it does weigh less. It's still got a decent amount of torque. Interested to see how this one gets along, definitely. Anyways, to find out, it is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 Rally Car, which set a time of a 27.718. The Legnum is not beating that. As I said, that stage here last time out did get into the under 30 club. I don't know if I expect this to quite be able to do that. Um, in terms of where this is going to go, as I mentioned, Galant VR4 30.598. I don't expect this to go that high up. Uh, Legnums, or sorry, like not Legnums, Legacies sort of hover around early 30s. So I think if we could get this into the early 30s, I'll be quite happy. It has already beaten that other Legnum that I mentioned, that Legnum ST, which was terrible so that's good at least it is quicker than the base model or rather the base model of Grand Turismo 2 I'm sure it's not actually the base Legman uh, Legman with less power than that one even had unbelievable but um, no and actually this isn't all that quick is it really and what gearbox are we dealing with five speed okay so we've got a proper gearbox in this it's just not massively quick um, now in case you are wondering the, there is a bit of a breakdown on how Legnum's going to use race mods and some of them are. Uh, the Super VR4 is based with a king of the Legnum's, these VR4 Legnum's anyway, so that one's got to run the race mod. And uh, this and the 97 are not going to, currently. I think they are all got the same race mod, could be wrong there, I'll have to look that up, but I say I'll have to look that up like I haven't spent literal days and weeks and months and well at this point years researching all the different racing mods and finding out which car is actually the quickest and all of that so if you ever question why this one runs race mod and that one doesn't run race mod or why this one runs different upgrades to this one or rather NH twin turbo and stuff like that it has all been researched so I'm not telling you to take my word for gospel but I'm just saying, if you go against me, you probably lose, because I've, <laughs> I've spent far too much time looking at facts and figures for this game. <clears throat> Anyways, um, we will try and get a decent lap out of the Legnum on its final go. This It just doesn't feel quick at all, this. I'm quite surprised, really. I mean, it's not... The actual speed is not that much slower than that uh, Evo rally car was, in terms of just overall straight line speed, but it does not feel quick at all. It definitely feels heavy through the corners, which is to be expected. I don't know, this just does not feel brilliant, I'll be honest, it really does not feel all that great to drive. So we're going to get the corner cut penalty, no we're not. I think that could go a little bit quicker. But when I say a little bit quicker, I really do mean like a little bit. I don't think this is going to be challenging uh, Legacies in its current form anyway. It's just not brilliant. It's not fantastic. It's not massively quick. The lap time's a bit all over the place. Maybe this could have gone quicker. I mean, you look at that and think, yeah, for definite, and then you sort of look at how all the sectors break down and it actually turns out it's more like 0.1 of a second, if that. Um, yeah, not not brilliant, it does have to be said. Anyways, a 30.483 will place this into 71st place. Interestingly, it does set about the same time as the Audi A4 Avant, which is actually quite apt considering that's also an estate vehicle 
Um, it is marginally quicker than the Vauxhall Vectra, quicker than the Mercedes-Benz E55. It is quicker than a standard um, Mitsubishi GCO, which is something. Um, I mean, it's not slow. It definitely isn't slow. Don't misconstrue me there. For this sort of series, it's, it's actually quite quick. It's just the slowest legacy we've had is about 0.3 up the road from this. Same with WRX Wagon, the slowest one. Um, yeah, it's just not quite got that killer instinct those cars have got. Don't get me wrong, we might get that out of the Super VR4, which I'm looking forward to driving eventually, but... Yeah. It's just not brilliant, really, which is a shame, because I really like the Legnum, but there you go. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different. Until then, farewell.